Dear students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalangam Engineering College, Koyal Vindi. I am happy to meet you again through the video lecture series on the subject hidden mass transfer. So this is lecture number 4 on the module mass transfer. So here we will solve problem on the uh, mass transfer part 1. And we recap uh, from the previous lectures. Uh, we discussed the mole fraction, diffusion velocity, molar flux, fixed law of diffusion, uh, diffusion in the gases. And uh, using these concepts, we solve the problem. So the student will be able to solve problem in the diffusion mass transfer. Example number one. So from the November 2007 anonymous question paper, the mole fraction of hydrogen in a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen is 0.4. If hydrogen moves with the velocity of 1 meters per second and O2 oxygen is stationary, find the mass and molar average velocities, mass and molar fluxes across the stationary surface. So we write down the given data, mole fraction of H2, Y H2 equal to 0.4, mole fraction of velocity of H2, U H2 equal to V H2 equal to 1 meters per second. So V U H2 is the molar velocity, V H2 is the mass velocity. Velocity of O2, U O2, V O2 equal to 0 because it is stationary and universal gas constant RO equal to 8314.3 joules per kilogram mole Kelvin. And we take the pressure and temperature, uh, 1 atmospheric pressure and 15 degrees Celsius, 288 Kelvin. We take the standard temperature, 15 degrees Celsius and the mole fraction of O2. So we have this equation YH2 plus YO2 equal to 1. So, Y O2 mole fraction of O2 equal to 1 minus Y H2 equal to 1 minus 0.4 equal to 0.6. We calculate the partial pressure of the constituents. P H2 partial pressure of H2 equal to Y H2 into total pressure. So, 0.4 into 1.01325 equal to 0.4053 bar. And the P O2 equal to Y O2 into total pressure 0.6 into 1.01325 bar which is 0.60795 bar. And we calculate the molar concentration of the constituents. So, CH2 equal to uh, partial pressure of H2, PH2 divided by RO into T. Uh, substitute the numerical values, the uh, concentration, molar concentration of hydrogen is 0 0.0169 kilogram mole per meter cube. And similarly, molar concentration of O2 equal to PO2 divided by RO into T. Uh, substitute the numerical values, this is equal to 0 0.0254 kilogram mole per meter cube. And the mass concentration we calculate, density of O2 in the mixer. So, rho O2 equal to CO2 into molecular weight of O2, which is 0 0.0254 into 32, which is 0.8128 kg per meter cube. And similarly, density of H2, mass concentration of H2 equal to CH2 into MH2, which is 0 0.0169 into 2 equal to 0 0.0338 kg per meter cube. The total density of the mixer rho equal to rho H2 plus rho O2 equal to 0 0.0338 plus 0.8128 equal to 0.8466 kg per meter cube. And mass fraction MH2 equal to rho H2 by rho which is 0.0338 divided by 0.8466 equal to 0.04. And mass mass fraction of the O2, so rho O2 divided by rho equal to 0.8128 divided by 0.8466 equal to 0.96. And the mass diffusion velocity V equal to MH2 VH2 plus MO2 VO2, which is 0.04 into 1 plus 0.96 equal to 0. V equal to VO2 equal to 0, which is 0 0.04 meters per second. And mass diffusion velocity, molar diffusion velocity, U equal to UH2, uh, YH2 UH2 plus YO2 UO2 equal to 0.4 into 1, which is 0.4 meters per second. So mass flux JH2 equal to rho H2 into VH2 equal to 0.0388 into 1 equal to 0 0.0388 and uh, J O2 equal to rho O2 into V O2 equal to 0.8128 into 0 equal to 0 and mass molar flux of molar flux of H2 uh, NH2 equal to CH2 into UH2 equal to 0.0169 into 1 equal to 0 0.0169 and NO2 equal to uh, CO2 into UO2 equal to 0 because velocity equal to 0. And this is the answer. Mass average velocity is 0 0.04 meters per second. Molar average velocity is 0 0.44 meters per second. And mass flux of hydrogen is 0 0.0338 and oxygen equal to 0. Molar flux of hydrogen, molar flux of oxygen 
Molar flux of hydrogen is 0 0.0169 and nitrogen is, uh, sorry, oxygen is 0. We take example number 2. In a gaseous mixture consisting of H2 and O2, H2 moves with the velocity of 1 meters per second and molar fraction is 0.2. Uh, calculate the mass and molar average velocity of mass and mol, mol, molar average velocity and the mass and molar fluxes across the plane which is stationary. This is from November 2009 question paper. And now the given data mole fraction is of hydrogen OH2 equal to 0 0.2, velocity of hydrogen is uh, 1 meters per second, velocity of oxygen equal to 0, universal gas constant is 8314.3 joules per kilogram mole Kelvin. And uh, take the pressure equal to 1 bar and temperature equal to 15 degrees Celsius which is 288 Kelvin, we take the standard temperature and mole fraction of oxygen. OIO2 equal to 1 minus OIH2 equal to 1 minus 0.2 equal to 0.8 and the partial pressure of the constituents PH2 equal to OIH2 into P which is 0 0.20265 bar, PO2 equal to OIO2 into P which is 0 0.8106 bar and the molar concentration of the constituents CH2 equal to PH2 divided by RO into T. Uh, substitute to the values 0 0.202615 10 power 5 divided by 8314.3 into 288 equal to 0 0.00846 kilogram mole per meter cube and CO2 equal to PO2 divided by RO into T which is 0.8106 in 10 power 5 divided by 8314.3 288 equal to 0 0.0338 kilogram mole per meter cube and uh, mass concentration of the uh, gas constituents Density of O2, CO2, concentration of O2 into molecular weight, which is 0.0338 into 32 equal to 1.0816 kilogram per meter cube. And rho H2 equal to CH2 into uh, molecular weight of H2 equal to 0.00846 into 2 equal to 0 0.01692 kilogram per meter cube. And the total density equal to sum of the two densities, rho H2 and rho O2, which is 1.09852 kilogram per meter cube. And the mass fraction we calculate mh2 equal to rho h2 by rho substituting the values this is equal to 0 0.0154 and m o2 equal to rho o2 divided by rho which is 1 point sorry 0 0.985 0 0.985 so mass diffusion velocity v equal to mh2 vh2 plus m o2 v o2 which is 0 0.0154 into 1 plus 0.985 into 0 equal to 0 0.0154 meters per second and the molar diffusion velocity u equal to yh2 uh2 plus yo2 uo2 which is 0.2 into 1 plus 0.8 into 0 equal to 0.2 meters per second and uh, mass flux jh2 equal to rho h2 into vh2 which is 0 0.01692 and jo2 equal to rho o2 into vo2 which is 0 and molar flux equal to nh2 equal to ch2 into uh2 which is 0 0.00846 and no2 equal to uh, CO2 into UO2 equal to 0 and the answers are mass average velocity V equal to 0 0.0154 meters per second, molar average velocity is U equal to 0 0.2 meters per second, mass flux equal to JH2 equal to 0 0.0192, JO2 equal to 0, molar, molar flux NH2 equal to 0 0.0846 and NO2 equal to 0. We take example number 3 uh, from 3 university question papers 2004, November 2004, November 2005 and November 2019. A mixture of O2 and N2 with their partial pressure in the ratio of 0.21 and 0.79 is in the container at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the molar concentration and mass density, uh, comma, molar fraction, mole fraction each species for a total pressure of 1 bar. What would be the average molecular weight of the mixture? So, write down the given data, partial pressure of O2 equal to 0 0.21 bar, partial pressure of N2 equal to 0 0.79 bar, total pressure is 1 bar and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius which is 298 Kelvin. Molar concentration of the constituents, CO2 equal to PO2 divided by RO into T, uh, substitute in numerical values which is 0 0.00847 per gram mole per meter cube and CN2 equal to PN2 by RO into T, substitute in numerical values, this is 0. 0 0.32 kilogram mole per meter cube and the mass density of the constituents rho O2 equal to CO2 into MO2. So CO2 is the concentration, MO2 is the molecular weight of the oxygen 
subsidy numerical value is 0.00847 into 32 equal to 0.27 per of meter cube and rho into equal to c into, into m into which is 0.032 into 28 equal to 0.896 kilograms per meter cube and total density equal to rho o2 plus rho into equal to 0.271 plus 0.896 equal to 1.167 kilograms per meter cube. Then mole fraction y o2 equal to p o2 by p which is 0.21 y n2 equal to p n2 by p equal to 0.79. So, mass fraction equal to m o2 equal to rho o2 by rho equal to 0 0.2.32 and m n2 mass fraction of nitrogen rho n2 divided by rho equal to 0 0.767 and the average molecular weight y o2 m o2 plus y n2 m n2 which is 0 0.21 into 32 plus 0 0.79 into 28 equal to 28.84. And the unit, the average, uh, the answer, the average molecular weight equal to 28.84 kilogram per kilogram mole. We take example number four. Two large vessels contains uniform mixture of air and the sulfur dioxide at one atmosphere 273, 273 Kelvin, but at a different concentration. The vessel one contains 80 percent air and 20 percent sulfur dioxide by volume or mole, mole percentage. Whereas vessel 2 contains 30 percent air and 70 percent sulfur dioxide by mole percentage. The vessels are connected by a 10 centimeter inner diameter and 1.8 meter long pipe. Determine the rate of transfer of air between these two vessels by assuming that the steady state transfer takes place. The mass diffusivity of gas SO2 mixer at 1 atmosphere 273 Kelvin is 0 0.122 10 to the power minus 4 meter square per second. And this is the diagram. So, this is the vessel 1 with the 80 percent air and 20 percent sulfur dioxide. This is vessel 2, 30 percent air and 70 percent sulfur dioxide. These two are connected by a pipe of diameter of 0 0.1 meter and length equal to 1.8 meter. So, the air is diffusing. Now, we have to calculate the rate of diffusion for, of air between these two vessels. The diffusion coefficient is 0 0.1 double to 10 power minus 4 meter square per second. Pressure is 1 atmosphere. Temperature is 273 Kelvin and length equal to y2 minus y1 equal to 1.8 meter. And this is the equation. And this is from the fixed, uh, fixed law of diffusion. Uh, mole transfer of air per unit area. N air divided by per area equal to minus d by R O into T. Uh, the partial pressure of air at location 2 minus partial pressure of air at location 1 divided by y2 minus y1. And to remove the negative sign, the direction is changed. So, d by r o into t, uh, which is uh, into uh, p r 1, partial pressure of r at location 1 minus partial pressure of r at location 2 divided by y 2 minus y 1. And here, partial pressure of r at location cylinder 1, vessel 1 is 0.8 into 101.325 equal to 81060 Pascal. And partial pressure of r at vessel 2 equal to 0.3 into uh, 101.325 equal to 30397.5 Pascal. And L equal to 1.8 meter, RO equal to 8314.3 joules per kilogram mole Kelvin. And substitute numerical values and calculating the mole transfer of air is 1.18 10 power minus 9 kilogram moles per second. The answer is rate of transfer of air between these two vessels is 1.18 10 power minus 9 kilogram moles per second. We take similar example with different data. CO2 and air experiences equimolar counter diffusion in a circular tube whose length is whose length and diameter are 1 meter and 50 mm respectively. The system is at a total pressure 1 atmosphere and temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The ends of the tubes are connected to the large chamber which is species concentration are maintained at fixed value. The partial pressure of CO2 at one end is 190 millimeter of mercury. While at the other end is 95 millimeter of mercury, estimate the mass transfer rate of CO2 in air through the tube. So, this is the diagram. So, this is one side of the vessel, which is one side, this is 0 uh, 190 millimeter of mercury. This is another side uh, where partial pressure of CO2 equal to 95 millimeter of mercury. This is the pipe connecting these two sides, diameter equal to 0 0.05 meter and the length equal to 1 meter. So, given data, total pressure is 1 atmosphere and temperature is 298 Kelvin. And diffusion coefficient of CO2 in air, it is not given here in the example in the problem. So, we take it from the hidden mass transfer data book, page number 181. The value is 11.89 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. And the equation, the fixed law equation, 
n c o2 by a equal to minus of d by r o into t p c o2 at 2 minus p c o2 at 1 divided by o2 minus o1 so rearranging n c o2 by a equal to minus of d by r o into t p c o2 1 minus p c o2 2 divided by o2 minus o1 so p c o2 1 equal to 190 divided by 716 to 101325 equal to 25331.25 pascal and p was p c o2 2 equal to 95 divided by 760 into 101.325 equal to 12665.625 pascal o2 minus o1 equal to 1 meter and the universal gas constant is 8314.3 joules per kilogram mole kelvin and the substitute in the values n c o2 equal to 5 by 4 into 0.05 meter square into 11.89 10 power minus 6 into 25 331.25 minus 12665.625 divided by 1 RO equal to 8314.3 temperature is equal to 298 Kelvin calculating it is 1.19 10 power minus 10 kilograms per kilogram mole per second rate of mass transfer is so the mole transfer is multiplied by the molecular weight of co2 which is 1.19 10 power minus 10 into 44 equal to 5.236 in 10 power minus 10 kilograms per second so the rate of mass transfer of the co2 equal to in the air is 5.236 in 10 power minus 10 kilograms per second we take example number six from the november 2016 question paper water gas at 25 degrees celsius uh, and a pressure of 2 bar is flowing through a rubber pipe of inside diameter 25 mm with a wall thickness of 2.5 mm. The diffusivity of oxygen through the rubber is uh, 0.21 mm, in 10 power minus 9 meter square per second and solubility of O2 in the rubber is 3.12 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram mole per meter cube bar. Find the loss of O2 by diffusion per meter length of the pipe. So the given data inside radius is 12.5 millimeter, outside radius is 15 millimeter. So 12.5 plus uh, the 2.5 millimeter, which is 15 millimeter. Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. Pressure is 2 bar. Diffusion coefficient is 0.21 in 10 to the power minus 9 meter square per second. Solubility is 3.12 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram mole per meter cube bar. And this is the arrangement. So this is the rubber tube of inner radius. 12.5 millimeter outer radius 15 millimeter the O2 is flowing inside the pipeline uh, as it flows inside the pipeline so this is diffusing through the rubber uh, where the rubber so it is diffusing and leaving on the other side but here we take this we calculate the concentration so concentration of O2 on the inside and the outside of the tube surface concentration of O2 equal to solubility into partial pressure of O2 so CCO2 at 1, which is S into PC, PO2, uh, sorry, CCO2, concentration of O2 at location 1 inside, which is sol solubility into partial pressure of O2 in, at location 1, which is 3.12 10 power minus 3 into 2 equal to 6.24 10 power minus 3 kilogram mole per meter cube. At the outside, we take the partial pressure of uh, O2 equal to 0 because it is not completely penetrating, just diffusing into the tube. And it is not leaving on the other side. So partial pressure PO, PO2 at location 2 that is outside equal to 0. Uh, so CCO2 at location 2 equal to 0. Now the resistance for the diffusion of the cylindrical system. So this equation we compare with the convective resistance uh, for, a, for, a, for the conduction resistance for the cylindrical system. So R equal to 1 by 2 pi KL into logarithmic of RO by RI. So the same equation, the K is replaced by the diffusion coefficient. So 1 by 2 pi L into, instead of K, we take the diffusion coefficient into logarithmic of RO by RI. So 1 by 2 pi, length equal to 1 meter, D equal to 0.21 in 10 to the power minus 9, logarithmic of 15 point, divided by 12.5 equal to 1.38 in 10 to the power 10. Resistance equal to 1.38 in 10 to the power 10. And the loss of, loss of O2 by diffusion per meter length equal to Q equal to CO2 1 minus CO2 2 divided by R, which is 6.42 in 10 to the power minus 3, CO2 2 equal to 0 divided by 1.38 in 10 to the power 10 equal to 4.52 in 10 to the power minus 11 kilogram mole per second. So the loss of O2 by diffusion per meter length of the pipe equal to 4.52 in 10 to the power minus 11 kilogram mole per second. We take example number 7. Ammonia diffuses through nitrogen under steady state conditions with non diffusing N2. The total pressure is 101.325, 101.325 kilopascal, and temperature is 298 Kelvin. 
The diffusion thickness is 0.15 meter and the partial pressure of NH3 at one point is 1.5 in 10 power 4 Pascal and at the other point is 5 in 10 power 3 Pascal. The diffusion coefficient DAB for a mixture is uh, at 1 atmosphere and 290 Kelvin is 2.3 in 10 power minus 5 meters square per second. So calculate the flux of NH3 and the B calculate the flux for UQ molar counter diffusion. So this is from May 2016 question paper. And this is the given data. So P equal to 101.325 kilopascal, temperature equal to 298 Kelvin, the length equal to 0.15 meter, diffusion coefficient 2.3 in 10 power minus 5 meters square per second, partial pressure of nitrogen at one location, location 1 is 1.5 in 10 power 4 pascal, at location 2, partial pressure of ammonia at location 2, it is 5000 pascal. So the mass molar flux of NH3 diffusion through N2, the same fixed law of diffusion equation. So NH3, uh, N NH3 divided by A per unit area equal to D by RO into T into NH3 P partial pressure of ammonia at location 1 minus partial pressure of ammonia location 2 divided by the distance Y2 minus Y1. Substitute numerical values N NH3 divided by area per unit area equal to substituting all the values this is 6.19 10 power minus 9 kilogram mole per meter square second. And for EQ molar counter diffusion, now we take N2, ammonia is diffusing into nitrogen. Now we calculate the partial pressure of nitrogen. So partial pressure of nitrogen at location 1 equal to P minus P NH3 at location 1, which is 86.325 kilopascal. And P N2 at location 2 equal to P minus P NH3 at location 2 equal to 101.325 minus 5 equal to 96.325 kilopascal. And uh, now the equation for ammonia, N, for nitrogen, N N2 divided by A equal to D by R O into T, partial pressure of nitrogen at 1 minus partial pressure of nitrogen at 2 divided by Y2 minus Y1. Substituting all the numerical values, this is minus of 6.1 in 10 power minus 10 kilogram mole per meter square Celsius, uh, square per second. Look at the value, for ammonia it is plus 6.19 10 power minus 9, for nitrogen it is minus 6.19 10 power minus 9, minus 7. So the the concept of EQ molar counter diffusion. So NA equal to minus NB, that is what we studied in the theory. NA equal to minus NB, that is being proved here. So for EQ molar counter diffusion, number of moles, number of mole transfer are equal, but they are in the opposite direction. So the answer, molar flux of ammonia uh, is 6.19 10 per minus 7 kilogram mole per meter square second. For molar flux for EQ molar counter diffusion is minus of 6.19 10 per minus 9 minus 7 kilogram mole per meter square second. And then we take example number 8. Hydrogen gas is maintained at a pressure of 2.4 bar and 1 bar on opposite sides of a plastic membrane 0.3 millimeter thick. The binary diffusion coefficient of hydrogen in the plastic is 8.6 in 10 power 9, 8, minus 8 meter square per second and solubility of hydrogen in the membrane is 0.0014 kilogram mole per meter cube bar. Calculate under uniform temperature conditions, uniform temperature condition of 24 degrees Celsius, the following. One, the molar concentration of hydrogen at the opposite face of the membrane. Uh, number two, molar and mass, di mass diffusion, mass flux, mass diffusion flux of hydrogen through the membrane. So this is the diagram. So you have a plastic membrane of uh, 0.3 millimeter thickness and uh, here left hand side the pressure is 2.4 bar and right hand side the pressure is 1 bar and solubility diffusion coefficient is uh, 8.6 in 10 power minus 8 meters square per second and solubility is 0.00145 kilogram mole per meter cube bar. And uh, from the fixed law of diffusion Na by A equal to minus D into dou Ca by dou X. So Na by A equal to minus D into dou Ca2 minus Ca1 divided by X2 minus X1 or D into Ca1 minus Ca2 divided by X2 minus X1. And surface molar concentration of hydrogen equal to solubility into pressure. So 0.00145 into 2.4 equal to 0 0.00348 kilogram mole per meter cube for location 1. And CA2 equal to 0 0.00145 kilogram mole per meter cube for location 2. And uh, molar flux through the membrane. Na by A equal to my D of CA1 minus CA2 will be X2 minus X1. So substitute numerical values. This is... 5.8 to 10 power minus 7 kilogram mole per meter square per second. And the mass flux, mass flux equal to molar flux multiplied by the molecular weight of hydrogen. 
which is 5.8 to 10 power minus 7 into 2 equal to 11.64 to 10 power minus 7 kilogram per meter square second. The answer mass flux of mass diffusion flux of hydrogen through the membrane is 11.64 to 10 power minus 7 kilogram per meter square second. And example number 9, the similar type of problem, hydrogen gas maintained at a pressure of 5 bar and 1 bar on the opposite side of the plastic membrane of 0.3 millimeter thick. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the binary diffusion coefficient of hydrogen is 8.7 10 power minus 8 meter square per second. And solubility of hydrogen in the membrane is 0 0.0015 kilogram mole per meter cube bar. What is the mass diffusion flux of hydrogen through the membrane? So, the same diagram with the different data. So, left hand side the pressure is 5 bar, right hand side the pressure is 1 bar and thickness is 0.3 millimeter. So, the given data P1 equal to 5 bar, P2 equal to 1 bar, X2 minus X1 equal to 0.3 millimeter, temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, diffusion coefficient is 8.7 10 power minus 8 meter square per second and solubility is 0 0.0015 kilogram mole per meter cube bar. And uh, we take the same equation NA by A equal to minus D into dou CA by dou X. Doing all the mathematics, do NA by A equal to D into CA1 minus CA2 by X2 minus X1. And CA1 equal to 0 0.0015 into 5 equal to 0 0.0075 kilogram mole per meter cube. And CA2 equal to 0 0.0015 into 1 equal to 0 0.0015 kilogram mole per meter cube. And the molar flux of the hydrogen through the membrane. So NA by A equal to D into CA1 minus CA2 by X2 minus X1. So, substituting 8.7 10 power minus 8, 0 0.0075 minus 0 0.0015 divided by 0.3 into 10 power minus 3 equal to 1.74 10 power minus 6 kilogram mole meter per meter square second. And the mass diffusion is multiplying by the uh, molar diffusion by molecular weight 1.74 10 power minus 6 into 2 equal to 3.48 into 10 power minus 6 kilogram per meter square second. So, the answer mass diffusion flux of hydrogen through the membrane is 3.48 in 10 power minus 6 kilogram per meter square second. And example number 10, oxygen is diffused through a stagnant carbon monoxide at 0 degree Celsius 760 millimeter of mercury pressure under the steady state condition. The partial pressure of oxygen on two planes 3.5 millimeter apart is 90 mm of mercury and 20 mm of mercury respectively. Calculate the rate of diffusion of oxygen in gram mole per second through centimeter square area, assume diffusivity of oxygen is oxygen in the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide is 0.17 centimeter square divided by uh, centimeter square per second and the gas constant is 82.06 centimeter cube atmosphere divided by gram mole Kelvin. This is from November 2017 question paper. We take the given data. So, the temperature is 273 Kelvin, pressure is 760 millimeter of mercury which is 1 atmosphere. PO2 at location 1 is 90 millimeter of mercury, PO2 partial pressure of O2 at location 2 is 20 millimeter of mercury, diffusion coefficient is 0.17 centimeter square per second, universal gas constant is 82.06 in centimeter cube mole divided uh, centimeter cube atmosphere divided by gram mole Kelvin and Y2 minus Y1 equal to 3.5 millimeter. The partial pressure of O2 at location 1 equal to 90 divided by 760 equal to 0.118 atmosphere. And PO2 at location 2 equal to uh, 20 by 760 to 0 0.0263 atmosphere. And the partial pressure of CO, PCO1 equal to 1 minus PO21, which is 1 minus 0.118 equal to 0 0.882 atmosphere. And PCO2 equal to 1 minus PO2 equal to 1 minus 0 0.0263 equal to 0 0.9737 atmosphere. Rate of diffusion of oxygen, we take this equation. Uh, NO2 by A equal to D by RO into T into P by O2 minus O1 logarithmic of PCO at location 2 divided by PCO at location 1. Substitute the numerical values. The diffusion rate of oxygen per unit area is 2.17 in 10 power minus 4 kilogram mole per meter square second. The answer is rate of diffusion of O2 equal to 2.17 in 10 power minus 4 kilogram mole per meter square second. And these are all the reference book I used for preparing the uh, notes. You can also refer to it for additional information. I have published a book on the subject. You can refer to it for more detailed explanation and problems. And if you have any queries, you write to me, to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer. So, if you have any comments, you pause the comments at the video. So, thank you for watching.